What's happening for today? Well, hello. Good morning to you. Uh, still very dark outside. No big surprise there. We're going to be seeing that over the next couple hours. That marine layer is going to have uh, really be present along the immediate coastline and up through your inland valleys. Want to run our satellite radar imagery for you over the last 12 hours, and you can see yesterday afternoon and really through the evening hours, it was a busy scene across the mountains, showers, thunderstorms, some lightning that we saw, and uh, even dust storms over the deserts. We saw uh, most of that activity taking place place over the mountaintops, but you could also see how a little bit of precipitation came over the deserts too. Now when we look along the coastline over the last several hours, we've seen that marine layer come back intact. All of the activity over the mountains and deserts has subsided. That's pretty much reserved for the afternoon and the evening time frame. Once we get that unstable heating that we see through the afternoon, that's what kind of triggers a lot of this activity over the mountains. And what we'll see is throughout the weekend that exists, that threat of showers and thunderstorms, and we could even even see some of those push farther off to the west across our inland valley. So we're not ruling out the chance of some valley floor and even coastal thunderstorms in the mix if one of these originates over the mountains and then makes its way farther off to the west. Now over the coastline, that marine layer is still going to be with us. We've been talking about how our temperatures are just around that average range for us looking outside right now. We are at 67 degrees, but take a look at Bismarck, North Dakota right now. 20 degrees as we speak, 36 in Rapid City, 44 in Lincoln and 42 in Minneapolis off in New York. We're at 60 degrees right now. It's going to be pretty comfortable too by the afternoon. Now this trough of low pressure that's centered just over northwestern Mexico, that's what's going to be feeding us with that moisture. So we're going to be seeing it push up from the subtropics, make its way across San Diego County and really specifically our mountains and deserts through each afternoon to come. As our afternoon highs continue to warm into the weekend, we'll see an enhanced risk that's mainly going to come on Sunday Day, our best opportunity 20 30% chance for widespread showers and thunderstorms. But in general, each day is still going to be a pretty pleasant day, especially along the coast and inland. It's just that diminished risk, that small risk that at times some of those showers could push farther west. 84 this afternoon for Escondido, 82 for Poway, 73 in Del Mar, and 77 in downtown San Diego. These temperatures are around average and will peak with our afternoon highs on Saturday. Tomorrow will likely stay in that range in. To Sunday and then start to cool down as we go into the beginning and middle portion of next week. That's also when we'll see that chance of showers and thunderstorms sort of come to a halt, mainly about beyond Tuesday over the mountains is where we see the best chance for drier weather and cooler weather to move in.